Hello, dear friends. In today's video, I would like to show and tell you about another homemade product that was made earlier. With this homemade tool, you can cut out literally any shape of thin sheet metal. So, if you are engaged in metal roofing or often work with sheet metals, then this homemade product is just perfect. And it can't even be compared to metal skeezers. Such a nozzle can be purchased, for example, in some online stores, even on AliExpress. I'll leave your link in the description. For, I don't know, for someone there may be a little money, for someone a fortune, but the idea is that the nozzle is sold only for a screwdriver. It is inconvenient to work with it, because you hold the screwdriver with one hand and hold the nozzle with the other hand. If your sheet metal is not fixed, then it is working, since you do not have a third hand. If you agree with me that the nozzle is inconvenient, that it is quite possible to purchase a ready-made tool, something like a grinder with a nozzle, of course, it is convenient to work with it, but here you may not be satisfied with the price because it's not cheap. For those people who do not have the opportunity to purchase such a tool for financial reasons, or perhaps you live in some remote area where the post office doesn't work, or as it is currently quite difficult to order something from other countries, then, guys, you can quite make such a tool yourself, literally, at minimal cost, on your knee. The most you will need is welding and some metal, which I'm sure you have around the house. Guys, let's not waste time. I'll show you what it's made of, we will build it and then test it. First of all, we need to make a frame like this. At first glance, it may seem too complicated. In fact, everything is very easy and simple to make. This square is cut out from such a square profile. And then these holders are welded to it. Further, it is simply centered here with such a pipe, also cut off and welded in the center. Next, small pieces of metal were welded to a piece of the plate. They were pre-cut from a metal corner. In the center of this workpiece we will have a cutting element. In order to fix it strictly in the center and it correctly beat off the metal, a tip like this was made. As you might have guessed, it is made from a piece of bulb that has a hole pre-made in it. Since the cotton or biting elements must be made of strongest steel, it was decided to make it from an automobile valve. But in order to make such cutting chamfers without having a lathe, you can use a little trick. Tighten this pin into the chuck of a screwdriver or drill, and then, when it rotates, use the grinder to start removing the layers. Thus, we will get a more or less uniform beautiful chamfer. Next, we need to make such an element for the bearing. It will actually be inserted into the metal profile. Previously, we insert the bearing into it, and a metal stud is fixed in it, which will actually bite off a piece of metal. So, we can start building it now. We insert the cotton pin, then the bearing, and the fixing element. At this stage, we cover it with a protective cap and screw the screws. In that case, if you do not have tabs to cut threads in the metal, it is not a problem, the cap can of course be welded, but the design will not be removable, if the cotton element breaks, you will simply throw out all the work. As you can see, I didn't specifically discuss the size of the design, because the grinders are different, some has more and some has less, and so I don't see the point in overloading you with extra dimensions. This grinder has two holes for fixing the handle. It is to them that we will attach our nozzle. To begin with, we insert a shim under the bearing, insert the nozzle, insert a dowel, another shim, and tighten the screw nut. With this wrench, I will now turn the axis, but you can observe how approximately we will work at high speeds cotton element.
We close the lead. Now we can safely test our homemade nozzle. If you think that your grinder has too high revs, it is better to lower them by adjusting the voltage. In general, this is the cutting we get, but this is rather not cutting sheet metal, but biting it off, since it remains here such a biting off shavings. Well, today's video ends. Thank you so much for your attention. Write in the comments what you would like me to show in my next videos. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.